Hey everyone! Today, I'll demonstrate the process of installing and running Mac OS Big Sur on your Windows 11 system using VirtualBox. If you're unfamiliar, VirtualBox is a versatile tool enabling you to operate various operating systems concurrently on your computer. This means I can seamlessly run Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and more within my VirtualBox environment. Now, the initial task is to acquire and set up VirtualBox. Begin by launching your web browser and searching for VirtualBox. Once the search results appear, locate the official page. Usually, it's Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on it, then head to the download section located on the left side of the page. VirtualBox is available for various operating systems, but since we're installing it on our Windows machine, choose the option labeled Windows Host to initiate the download process. Now, your next step is to download the VirtualBox extension pack. Scroll down and you will find it listed as VirtualBox Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Click on All Supported Platforms and the download should begin. Now, the final item on our download list is the Big Sur ISO file. The link is conveniently provided in the video description, so simply navigate to the page and locate the download option. Now, let's close our browser and open our download folder, and you can see over here, this is VirtualBox. This is VirtualBox extension pack, and this is our ISO file for Big Sur. So, first, let's install VirtualBox. Double click here to open it. Next, next, proceed. So, VirtualBox has been installed successfully. Now click on Finish, and VirtualBox should open afterwards. Now, the next thing we have to do is add the extension pack, and to do that, click on the three dots right here, and select Extensions. Now click on Install up here, and then select the package, which is Oracle VM VirtualBox extension we downloaded. Click on Open, and then click on Install. Scroll down and click on, I agree. And as you can see, successfully installed. Now click on the three dots again and click on Welcome to go to the main page. Now, the next thing we have to do is to create a new virtual machine where we are going to install our macOS Big Sur. So click on New up here. Now let's call this machine macOS and then you can see the location of our VirtualBox machine. So you just leave that the way it is. Now, this is where we have to select our Big Sur ISO. Remember, it is in our download folder, macOS Big Sur, which is about 15 gigabytes. So we have to select the ISO file from here. Open, and you can see our machine name is macOS. This is the ISO image. And the type here, set it to macOS X, and the version set it to macOS X 64-bit. Next, click on Next. Then choose the amount of base memory or RAM you wish to assign to this machine. It's advisable not to allocate more than 60% of your total RAM to the virtual machine, as it may impact the performance of your host computer. For instance, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM in my PC, so I'll allocate around 4 gigabytes to my virtual machine. Additionally, set the number of CPU cores. In my case, I'll choose 3 since my system can handle it. Once done, click on Next. Next, choose the storage capacity you wish to allocate to this virtual machine. Make sure not to allocate more than what you have available. In this case, I'll allocate 80 gigabytes, which should suffice. Once decided, click Next to proceed and finish. So, you can see our new virtual machine has been created. However, we're not finished yet. Click on Settings up here. In the General section, copy your machine name exactly as it appears here because we're going to need it later when executing the CMD commands. Then click on Display. Increase the video memory to 128 and then turn on Enable 3D Acceleration. Click on OK and now, before we can start our machine, we need to run some commands. Open Notepad and copy all the commands from the video description and paste them into a new text file. Also, open Command Prompt as an administrator. Now back to Notepad, click on Control H and replace VM name with your machine name that you have copied earlier.
Once done, copy and paste each command into the command prompt and click Enter after each command. Now the last command here is only for AMD CPUs. If you don't know, open Task Manager and click on the Performance tab. You can check that right up here. Copy the command and paste it into CMD as well. Now we are ready to install our machine, close CMD and Notepad and open VirtualBox. Click on your machine and click on Start right up here. If you encounter any errors or problems during this stage, refer to the video description where I've uploaded several videos addressing the most common issues and their fixes. If your specific issue isn't listed, please feel free to comment below, and I'll gladly assist you further. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Let's continue. Select the language and then continue. Now click on Disk Utility right here, and then continue. Now go to VBox Hard Disk Media up here, and then click on Erase. Now let's call this Mac OS, and then click on Erase. Click on Done. Now we can close this utility and start the installation process. Click on Install Mac OS Big Sur here, and then Continue. Click Continue again. Agree to the terms. Select the hard drive here and then Continue. Please be aware, everyone, that this process may require a considerable amount of time. In my experience, the installation was completed in less than an hour, but the duration can vary based on your PC hardware. Your patience is appreciated as you wait for the process to finish. So, now we can begin the setup of our Mac OS Big Sur. Now the first thing we have to set is region and country. So, set it to your region or your country and then continue. Also, select your language and continue as well. Click on Not Now, then click Continue. Click Not Now again. Now, if you already have an Apple ID, you can sign in here, or you can simply click on set up later down here. Click on skip, accept the terms and conditions, and then continue. Now you might notice that the machine is pretty slow, but don't worry. I will show you how to fix this in a minute, so stick around. Let's proceed with the express setup. For the screen time settings, I prefer to configure them later, so simply click on Set Up Later to the left. You also have the option to enable Siri if you wish, but personally, I don't require this feature, so I'll opt to disable it and proceed. Select your preferred layout, whether you prefer dark mode or light mode. Personally, I'm opting for dark mode. You also have the option to set it to auto so it can switch automatically. Remember, you can always change this later, so there's no need to worry. Let's proceed by clicking Continue. This process may take some time, so please be patient. Before you start using the machine, you need to eject the ISO file. First, shut down the machine completely. Now we can open our virtual box and then go to Settings. Go to Storage, and you can see the ISO file over here. Right-click, Remove Attachment, Remove. Okay, 
Now let's start our machine. There you have it. This was how to install macOS on your Windows PC using VirtualBox. It's great for exploring macOS features for research and development. If you want to give macOS a try, now's your chance. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching and see you next time.